I got a lot of green vibes going on today. Hopefully it doesn't pop up and tell me that I ain't got no storage. I may regret, regret wearing all this jewelry, but I doubt it. Look at this, green nails, green ring, green shirt. I'll have the shirt link down below if you guys wanna shop. It's from Amazon, you already know. It was actually in the men's section and I love it. I think it's super cool. The collar's having a bit of a moment, struggling, um, but other than that, it's fine. Uh, my nail color is Revlon in the shade Posh. I don't know if they make it anymore. Anyways, hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I am going to be showing you 10, could be more, could be less, hint, hint. It's gonna be more because I can't count. Um, products that are worth your money. High-end products that are worth your coin. Worth the dollars you gotta spend on them to get them. You know what I mean? So, I'm excited about this because I love luxury makeup. I love high-end makeup. Oh, I need to add that too. I hate myself. Anyways, let's get into it because I've got, I've got the good things. I've got the good things I need to let you all know about. You're gonna be like, Katie, is this a ode to Charlotte Tilbury? No, it's not but I can see where you got that. You know, I can see that. Okay, let's get into the first product. If you, you know, like you just already know. Flawless filter, Hollywood flawless filter for a superstar youth glow from your girl, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I could talk on and on and on for days about Charlotte Tilbury and how innovative her products are, but the Hollywood flawless filter is something I feel like everyone needs to try in their lifetime. There are things similar. There is nothing like it. It gives you the most amazing glow, the most amazing base, whether you wear it underneath makeup, on top of makeup, in replace of your foundation. It just does amazing things to your skin. It really does look like a filter over your skin for a superstar youth look. You know what I mean? I have mine in the shade 5 Tan. I've had this for probably a year and a half, maybe even two years, and I am getting low, but I haven't run out of it. And whenever I do run out of it, your girl will be purchasing another one. I feel like it's worth the money. I feel like you need it. If you don't have it, they have the mini trials, so you can try those, like the little miniature ones, um, to see if you like it. Obviously, you will love it, and then you can go buy it, okay? Let's just get the other Charlotte Tilbury out of the way. Let's just get it out of the way. So the next one is this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, a matte bronzing filter for face and body. First of all, I love the packaging. I love how big it is. I like a big bronzer like this because usually if I'm using bronzer, I'm using a big brush. I have mine in the shade two, but then I also bought shade three um, because these pans are refillable. People are like, do you need to spend that much on a bronzer? Not technically. There are some really good drugstore bronzers, but I love the way that this builds up. It has that same airbrush um, Technology is the Airbrush Flawless, Flawless Finish Powder. Is that what it's called? Uh, whatever this is called. The Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Lord, she's got long names. But anyways, I love this. I feel like the way that it builds up is absolutely beautiful. You cannot go wrong with it. It just builds up very nicely. And it it, it looks phenomenal on the skin. I have on the Chanel bronzer today. Um, the Sully Tan Day Tande Chanel. But then I also have this on, on top. I almost went like Jersey different. On top. I got this on top. Anyways, I had this on top. It looks amazing. It feels amazing on the skin. It looks really airbrush and flawless. You know what I mean? So, like, I feel like her names do make sense. She's not lying to anybody. It looks amazing. Um, since I picked this up, we'll go ahead and talk about it. I wasn't going to plan on talking about this because, I don't know. I do love this powder. It's phenomenal. The Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. It is literally the best powder on the market, in my opinion. But I feel like it's so so talked about and everybody already knows that it's worth the money but if you don't this product is worth the money it makes your skin look amazing usually powders give you that really powdery gross look it doesn't do that it leaves your skin looking phenomenal and just like your skin's been finessed you know that's what it looks like to me there are no blushes like the charlotte tilbury blushes i don't care i don't care who you are i don't care there are none like these it has that same exact technology or whatever the heck it is that this are other powders and this is in the shade ecstasy i use it every single day guys i swear to you i use it every day um i don't know how i even have any left i really don't but i have quite a bit left uh, it's just phenomenal. It makes your skin look amazing. It feels like silk between your fingers and it looks like silk on your face. And I just feel like the way that she formulates her products, the way that she markets them, the way that they actually apply to the face is is like no other product. And so I'm like, Charlotte, take all of my dollars. Take all my dollars. I don't care. I want you to know that it's 76 degrees in my room. It's 76 degrees in my room because of all of these lights. So this is how much that I care about you all and want you to know the tea on these good products. It's gonna go quick though because I gotta, I'm, I'm sweating. Okay, next product. This is pretty quick. This is the uh, Tartlet in Bloom Tart Palette. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it a million and ten times over YouTube's history. Um, I just feel like it's a really nice everyday palette and I feel like, yes, there are good drugstore eyeshadows, but I haven't found any that I'm like, wow, that's phenomenal. Those blend amazing. That's a really good selection of colors. And so I feel like this Tarlet and Bloom palette really does it for me. It's actually pretty affordable. Um, 
is a pretty affordable palette. I think that you get a lot for your money. I've used it since I was in high school. You can use it. I do bridal makeup and event makeup and stuff. I use it on nearly everyone because I feel like it, go, ooh, I feel like it goes with every skin tone. And so I feel like it's just a really good well-rounded palette, especially for the price. Next up, we have the Chanel Rouge Allure Inks. I hate matte lipstick, or not matte lipstick. I hate liquid lips. I think that they're like the worst things to ever happen. Um, maybe in the history of like makeup, honestly. The way that they create those disgusting like looks on your lips, the way that it is, is just not my journey. But the Rouge Allure inks from Chanel, I have mine in the shade Warm Beige 146, 176. Warm Beige. I talked about this in my fall makeup. I just think that it's so good. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like anything on your lips. Like it literally feels like you have nothing on your lips and it has an amazing color. I also really like the applicator and I mean it's Chanel packaging so it's stunning, you know. But the applicator is really tiny, so it allows you to get in, like, your little lip creases. And um, it's just really nice. I love the feel on my lips. I love the way that it looks. Um, it's just a top of the line, exactly what you would expect from Chanel kind of formula. Like, I realize if you're paying a higher price point, obviously you want these products to do some work. You know? This is the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. I've talked about this till I'm TBH blue in the face. Uh, I have mine in the shade SC1 Shikari. Shockery, I don't know. I've used it a million and ten times, and that's how many times I've also talked about it. I have it under my eyes today. It is my go-to concealer. It looks amazing on literally everyone. I've used it on wedding day makeup. I've used it on my mom. She's 45. I use it on myself. I'm 22. I've used it on my Nana. She is in her 60s, and it looks amazing on absolutely everybody. I think that it is absolutely worth your money. I feel like there are good drugstore concealers. The Maybelline Fit Me concealer is good. The Maybelline What's it called? The one that rolls up the Age Rewind Concealer. I feel like it's a really nice concealer too. But as far as looking seamless under your under eyes and looking like you are healthy and plump and like you drink your water and all that kind of stuff, this concealer just gives that to me. I actually have it in my cart for the Sephora sale so that I can get it um, whenever it's, you know, 20% off and I can get it to, for my face because I was like, I would really like to have that as a face concealer. Also need a backup because I'm getting pretty low on this. I think. Like, I don't know how I even have any left. I swear, makeup lasts way longer than you think it will. Okay, I have a few more products here. This one I've talked about a million times too. This is the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. Um, I use this all the time. I really don't have much of this left at all. I do need to pick up another one of these. You can see, like, it's been well-loved. I use this every single day mixed in my um, tinted moisturizer slash SPF. It's this from Dermatology. This is not that expensive, but I'll just mention it here again in case you haven't heard me. The Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. I use that and I mix in a pump of, actually not even a pump, like a quarter of a pump of the D-Bronzy. I also mix this with my um, facial moisturizer, literally anything, and I just feel like it gives you that really nice bronzy glow that everyone wants and everyone's looking for, but it doesn't give you so much pigment that it's like skin tone specific, if that makes sense. Another product I have is also from Chanel. This is the Soleil Tande Chanel. Um, I've heard that there's a lot of dupes for this, like the Soul Body one. I haven't tried it myself, so I can't confirm nor deny that. But I have it in like the original um, shade. This was actually gifted to me by Chanel. I did like a, a marketing um, modeling masterclass for them, and they gave me a lot of Chanel products, which was super nice. But I know it is expensive. It's $50, but also the, or not the Chanel, the Charlotte Tilbury one's really expensive too. But I feel like this would last you so long and it looks so good. And now that they have a lot more shades, people with really light skin tones and people with really dark skin tones can enjoy it as well. So I feel like this is worth the money. It just blends really nice. I feel like if you're new to makeup or you've just been using makeup for as long as you can remember, it still looks nice on your skin. It's user friendly. You can't really mess it up. It never looks cakey. It's super easy to blend. It's just really nice. And if you're scared of cream products because they're usually really pigmented, I would definitely go for this because I feel like it's just so easy to build. And there's a reason that it's like a cult classic and a cult favorite is like every time I go back and use this, I'm like, dang, that was really good. I actually used it um, today, like I said, underneath that Charlotte Tilbury. It's raining. That's disgusting. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This says Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. There's also a reason that this has a cult following behind it. There's a reason that everyone loves this foundation. There's a reason that this foundation is in like every makeup artist kit. This foundation looks good all the time, no matter whose skin it's on, no matter how old you are. This foundation is a like the most promising foundation. If you don't know what to wear and you're going to an event, put this foundation on. If you are going to something that's really, really important and you wanna look phenomenal and like better than everybody else, 
put this foundation on. It looks amazing on the skin. It really, really does. I have it in two different shades. My perfect shade right now is 7.8, which has an olive undertone. Praise the Lord they came out with olive undertones because nobody has them except for Dior and like really just Dior and now Luminous Silk, but you can't find it online, really. Anyways, um, I love this foundation. I think that it really does just make your skin look like skin. It's like a your skin better kind of foundation. It makes your skin look healthy. It makes your skin look just, I don't know, just really nice. I'm not a foundation person. I know that I've talked a ton about the Radiant Lifting Foundation from Shiseido. I still love that foundation. But for the everyday person, no matter your skin type and you just want it to look good, whether you're oily, dry, whatever, I think that everyone will get along with the Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani. And there's a reason that everyone loves it. Okay, I actually just tried this foundation or just tried this concealer for like literally the first time. Hear me out. Hear me out. It's phenomenal. This is the um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer from NARS and I have it on the shade Medium Dark One Biscuit. So this is what it looks like. It's just a tiny little pot concealer and now you're probably like did you use that under your eyes no I didn't I actually today and if you want to watch the video I'll, I'll probably have it up maybe before this I don't really know um it was a like my signature look kind of video and I used it for the first time but I used it because Katie Jane Hughes always uses that concealer and I love her makeup artistry and it looks so good on my skin it looks flawless like let me just get up in your business actually get up in my business I do have a little pimple here so don't be hating okay look at this like, look at this. It, look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So I used this concealer. I used it with my, um, where's it at? My Morphe X Ariel A14 brush. Dipped it in there. Put it on like the spots I wanted to cover. That's it. Did not cover my whole face in it. Did a little up here, you know, that sort of vibe. Blend it out with that brush and then blend it out with my also Morphe and Ariel beauty sponge. And then did the this under my eyes. It looks amazing. It looks astonishing. There's nothing like it. There is literally nothing like it. I love the way that it made my skin look. And I love how I usually don't like matte products. But I love the way that it just looks like my skin. But better. Like it's just so stinking good. What's the reason? Yeah, I'm going to be using this every day until further notice. Also, I want to mention this. If you were looking for a good self-tanner, I use this literally every week. This is the Bondi Sands. Actually, it's not this one. I've never tried this in my life. I can't be trusted. Don't listen to me. It's the Bondi Sands regular self tanner, like the 24 or not the 24 hour, the eight hour tanner. I bought that one because it's a one hour express and I would rather it just be on my body for one hour rather than like eight hours. Um, let me fix my nickels. But anyways, I picked that one up, um, hoping that it'd be better or hoping that it would be as good, but just work quicker than the regular Bondi Sands. I love that one for Bondi Sands. It feels it just looks really nice and it stinks a little bit, but all of them stink. So that's just the way the life is, you know, that's the way that things go. And, um, yeah, I have a lot more products that I could talk about. If you want me to do that, if you want me to continue this series, I would be happy to do so. I do enjoy it. I mean, it's fun to me. Oh, another one. I've also talked about this a million times. I swear I'm all over the place. Tom Ford eyeshadows. Just in general, this is the honeymoon palette. We all know that I love it. We all know I love the honeymoon palette from Tom Ford. But um, this formula in particular, my boy Tom Ford knows how to formulate eyeshadows. Or I guess I should say his lab does. Either way, it's bussing. Okay, it's really good. It's really phenomenal. They blend like an absolute dream. Okay, my friends, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comments and I'll be there to talk to you. But other than that, that's all I have to say. I have lots of favorites. I have lots of high-end goodies, lots of drugstore goodies. Um, yeah, so if you have anything that you think I should know about that you're like, girl, I know this is like so expensive, but it do be bussing, drop in the comments. Um, other than that, that's it, actually. I don't know why I always say other than that at the end of my videos, because there's nothing other than that. Like, I'm literally trying to end the video, but I just keep going. I just keep going. Everything will be linked down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a fabulous day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps and supports my channel. And if you're like, girl, why do you always say that? Because it literally does. Like, the more you like and more people that subscribe, the more, like, views and stuff that I get. You know what I mean? The more people can understand. Like, they, they need to know these products, too. We don't need to be gatekeepers here on Katie Fawn's channel. We're not gatekeepers. We let the people know. Okay? So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have a fabulous, fabulous day. I had a ribbon. I had ribbon to go on my tree. But I am horrible at putting the ribbon up. And I'm just not a very, like, decorative person. I'm very creative and very, like you know, that sort of vibe, but I'm not decorative. And so I told my mom, I asked her, I was like, hey, will you do that? And then she said, yeah, and then she never did. <laughs> so I have a nude tree, a naked tree. Don't judge me.